All right, guys, the episode you've been waiting for, the episode I've been waiting for, I've been freaking out, okay? I bought this watch a while ago, finally came into the US. It's been chilling at the US Customs Office for a really long time because they have to make sure everything's kosher before they send it over to me. And uh, yeah, I finally have it. My grail has arrived. I have it in my hot little hands and I cannot wait to share it with you. I've teased you guys long enough, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the grail I bought myself for my 30th birthday. Now guys, I am very, very proud I'm a proud T3 because a lot of my avid viewers out there got very, very close to guessing exactly which watch I bought myself for my 30th birthday. And uh, one of you guys actually hit the nail right on the head. So okay, let's go ahead, take a look at my 30th birthday grail. This watch has been on my list for a very, very long time. And it's almost surreal knocking it off my grail list. So. Uh, yeah, let's bring you up close and take a look. It is 6.15 p.m. Let's get down to business. All right, so here's what I'm wearing on the wrist today, my Hamilton Khaki Field Automatic. And boy, do people get upset when I don't do a wrist check in an episode, God forbid. So, okay, here's what I'm wearing. But I don't really care to spend much time talking about this watch because I just picked up this watch. That's right, I finally got myself a GG Le Coutre Reverso a huge grail of mine and this one is a solid 18 karat yellow gold reverso classique mechanical and it's pretty much immaculate it uh, actually just came in today uh, still has a little protective sticker uh, that the store put on it and i am freaking out i am in love this is a uh, it's a huge addition to my collection all right guys so uh let's talk about it why not i'm honestly kind of at a loss for words again because it's surreal right it's it's very surreal lusting after a watch for so long and then like actually having it it's a crazy feeling but uh yeah so this is jlc reverso classique mechanical it's the quintessential gentleman's watch measuring around 38 millimeters uh let's see it's hand wind a solid 18 karat yellow gold it's got those blue hands i am a sucker for light dials and blue hands and when you get it in the light boy does that blue shine um and it's got a sapphire crystal let's go ahead and talk about the unique history of the jlc reverso and uh, let's see what this looks like in action. Now I'm not gonna play polo, I'm just gonna reverse it. <laughs> reverso, reverso. All right, so one of my favorite parts about the JLC Reverso isn't just its elegance and its striking good looks, it's that it has a really interesting backstory. So story has it that in the 1930s, a Swiss businessman was in India and he witnessed a polo player break his watch mid game. And he was like, you know what? There's gotta be a way to invent a wristwatch that won't break uh, just simply by playing polo. So he took this idea that he had and he brought it to his buddy, Jacques David Lacoutre, and they invented a watch that would protect itself. And uh, this is how. It would reverse in on itself, and they called it the Reverso. Now guys, as I tell you the story, uh, you also witnessed one of my pretty much only complaints about this watch, and it's that it's, a, it's an absolute smudge magnet, okay? Uh, let me clean it off, and I'll show you what I mean. This watch is practically immaculate. Look at that mirror finish, that 18 karat gold. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is difficult to find one that hasn't been absolutely polished or engraved. So I'm very, very happy that I found one uh, in proper condition um, that hasn't been messed with. I'm very, very lucky. Okay, so now that you guys know the interesting history behind the JLC Reverso, and now that you've seen mine in action, maybe we can talk about why I chose this specific Reverso and uh, kind of maybe go over what the buying process was like. So I feel like many of you had a sneaking suspicion that I wanted a Reverso really, really badly because again, a lot of you came very close to guessing this exact watch. So um, yeah, I've mentioned it numerous times on this channel. Uh, I've mentioned it on Instagram 
Instagram, pretty much everywhere that you've spoken to me, I've mentioned that I've wanted a Reverso. So what I didn't tell you though, was that I wanted one in gold, okay? I wanted my 30th birthday watch to be precious metal because I figured if I could find a Reverso in gold, it'd make a special watch even that much more special. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about what drew me to this specific Reverso, okay? I love the Classique because it was the perfect gentleman sizing, 38 millimeters. Again, it's got the mechanical caliber. Uh, I was able to find one in solid 18 karat yellow gold. This one specifically is in pristine condition. I was very, very lucky to find it. Again, light colored dial. Let's see if I can get those blue hands to pop gorgeous blue hands um, and again there's no way I could pass this watch up after I found it but guys finding it uh, was not a quick process okay I had to have some patience and um, we're gonna go over that in a moment now before we go any further I want to thank everybody for guessing which watch I got myself for my 30th uh, thank you everyone who entered the giveaway um, but real quick a viewer named Just Me guessed that I got an 18 karat gold reverso. He was the first one to guess it. A lot of you guys came very, very close guessing various other reversos in stainless steel, but he was the first one to mention specifically 18 karat gold. And uh, yeah, you won the giveaway. So Just Me, please DM me on Instagram with your info uh, so I can send you that undone base camp and some wrist candy watch club straps. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, I knew what I wanted, right? I wanted a mechanical JLC Reverso in precious metal. It was just a matter of finding it, and uh, that was the tricky part, honestly. I had to have a lot of patience, a lot of self-control. I went through about four or five very similar Reversos that I almost pulled the trigger on, and I mean like typed in my payment information. I came that close, but something inside told me just to hold off a little bit longer. And uh, I'm so happy I waited because none of those watches were anywhere near the condition this one is in. And uh, I absolutely picked the right one. So let's talk about some of the potential issues that I came across when I was looking to pick up this Reverso. Okay, so right off the bat, this watch is gold, right? Gold is soft, gold scratches and dents really easily. And a lot of the examples I was finding out there were just beaten up and it's a bummer or they were terribly over polished and speaking of polishing um, a lot of the watches that were selling online had prior engravings on them and again I think that's really cool I think that's very special very sentimental adds something to the history of the watch Personally though, right, like different strokes for different folks, for my 30th grail, I didn't want it to have a prior engraving. Some people love that. Um, I'm not a huge fan. If there is gonna be an engraving on this watch, it's gonna be one that I have done, um, although I, I'm probably not gonna get this watch engraved. Um, now, okay, speaking of those engravings, a lot of companies that were selling these watches realize that people don't want to buy a watch online that already has someone else's engravings on them so they were getting the metal uh, polished and they were often very unevenly polished and uh, again just kind of a bummer now one of the other things that i was finding with these jlc classiques or jlc reverso classiques i should say is uh there were a lot of examples having dial damage all right because these wa these watches aren't super duper waterproof so a lot of the watches uh that had really really immaculate dials like this they just weren't for sale. They were either already scooped up or people just kept them. And a lot of the ones on the secondary market uh, were ones that people got wet and the dials were damaged, so they try to unload them online. And it's just a bummer to see that. Now, the final hurdle that I came across was wrapping my head around buying a, a JLC Reverso in gold online sight unseen from people in Italy, you know, we're kind of somewhat of a language barrier there, definitely a time zone difference. Um, and we were going back and forth, trying to communicate, negotiate price, answer questions. Now the sellers were super duper helpful. They were amazing. Uh, they, you know, ended up get, getting me the exact watch I wanted. The only frustrating thing was waiting on US customs. Okay, the watch was here for over a week on US soil and I had to see that tracking information see that it's so close yet so far and I just wanted to wear my freaking reverso um, but you know it was kind of a test of patience and um, it was it was it was a test in maturity right I just turned 30 so I had to uh, 
I don't know, test those virtues a bit. Now guys, really quick, I made an episode explaining exactly how not to get screwed when buying a watch or a vintage watch online, okay? Um, I explain like all the questions you need to ask, everything you need to do so you don't waste your hard earned money online. Um, again, I don't want any of my viewers burning themselves with a bad deal if we can help it. So please click the link in the top right. Uh, there's gonna be a little pop up and watch that episode so you don't waste your money, okay guys? But um, yeah, I just, I'm so excited. Can't wait to take more pictures of this watch, make more episodes featuring this watch. This is my New to me, uh, JLC Reverso Classique in 18 karat gold. Uh, man, if you couldn't tell, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm perplexed in a way. For once, I don't know what to say. Crazy, right? And then to finish up the episode, guys, here's some markings on the inside of the case. Je uh, coutre Swiss, 18 karat. Um, just some honestly stunning detail here. Um, you're often not going to see that part of the watch, but still, it's cool that they added it. Gorgeous dial. You get it in focus here. It's blue hands. This is a beautiful watch, guys. I am, um, I don't know, it's going to be hard to outdo this, you know, th that feeling of knocking a watch off the list that you've wanted for so long, so badly. Uh, in one of my episodes that I went over the history of this watch, uh, I mentioned, uh, I, I think I said it's not really totally a grail because it's not totally unattainable. And I was right, you know, it's, it's, it's clearly not unattainable, I, I attained one. But I was wrong in a way because this is absolutely a grail. It's a watch I've wanted forever and uh, I have one and uh, I'm just, I'm very happy. I'm very happy and I'm very happy I could share this with you and uh, I hope you're as excited as I am. And um, yeah, guys, I wanna thank each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me. Um, this is kind of a continuation of my birthday celebration. So um, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, it's because of you that I'm able to make all this content and uh, it's because of you that I'm trying so hard and that I'm pushing myself and uh, you know, who knows? Without you guys, I may not have a, a, a reverso. And um, it's because of you that uh, You've kind of kicked me in the butt a bit and made me a bit more ambitious than I normally would be. So thank you guys. You rock and this one's for you. All right guys, I've been trying to get the uh, signed crown in focus so I can show it off to you guys. But uh, if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed this watch, consider subscribing to the channel. And again, we don't normally do Tuesday episodes. Of course, this was a very special day, so I wanted to uh, get this content out here for you. But I do upload very, very regularly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with a Saturday Q&A every, every, every weekend. You do not wanna miss out, so like, comment, subscribe, again, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the watch. I'm very eager to talk to you guys about it in the comment section. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very, very special Tuesday episode. I will see you on Wednesday as well. And um, yeah, guys, love you guys. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Gotta get used to doing that. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry, the fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are gonna be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry, just stay right here and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave. I am trapped inside of this camera.